What's up, Bender fam? Dylan from Trailbenders Overland here. It's officially been one year since fixing the head gasket in my fourth gen 4Runner using Blue Devil. Yes, I said it. I poured that Blue Devil into my radiator and it fixed my 4Runner. I uh, figured I'd do a little review and take it to a shop and do a proper test and make sure it's actually still fixed. It sounds so good. Um, it's been about 30,000 miles that I've driven this past year. Um, and like I said in my original video, what would happen is I'd be driving for many hours or uh, pulling a load up and over a mountain. And when the engine is stressed, it would push more exhaust into my coolant. And what happens is when I would slow down um, off the highway, just on regular street driving, uh, my water pump wouldn't be able to circulate my coolant enough and I would start overheating when I then come down to a slow speed. That is until I let it sit and uh, it's essentially let the exhaust out of my coolant. Daily driving though, I didn't have any, any issues. Uh, daily driving around town, a little bit of a rough idle at, you know, with a cold start. Um, but for the most part, I didn't really have too many symptoms unless it was under stress. That tells me it was a very minor head gasket leak, which is probably part of the reason why Blue Devil works so well for me. So uh, I called around a couple shops, a couple price checks. First shop was 180 bucks. So like, I don't really wanna spend that on something I know isn't broken. <laughs> uh, next shop I called was 70, and then I called Scott's down here in uh, Encinitas on the Coast Highway, and they said, Come on over, we'll help you out. Come make your video. We'll set you up and show you how to do it. So let's head down there, check it out, and uh, see if this baby really is truly not leaking at all. that test I headed over to Scott's Automotive local to Encinitas what's up Mike hey how's it going uh, Mike was nice enough yeah I talked to Dylan on the phone he told me his little story about doing the uh, Blue Devil to this vehicle a year ago I uh, asked how much we charge to do a block test to it um, I was kind of intrigued about what he did and how long and how the process has gone um, so I told him to come on down he can document it and do the uh, test himself. I'll let him use our equipment to go ahead and do that for us here. Stoked, thank you, Mike. Absolutely, Dylan, man, sounds great. What's the process? All right, Dylan, so when we get it up, when it gets cooled off enough that you can actually open the cooling system up, you gotta give it a little air gap, take a little coolant out of it, um, pour the proper amount of fluid into the tester, uh, start the vehicle up, run it, and then you uh, pull pull vacuum through the uh, cooling system to see if there's any hydrocarbons in it. Awesome, so it's just a little bit of a waiting game right now a little bit gotta okay. let it cool off for a bit sounds good well we wait time to wait i just talked to scott he's a forerunner guy too and he actually just took this thing around the country um so he's kind of he's our kind of people so i'm sitting here waiting for the coolant to cool down a little bit before we can do the test and i can't help but feel a little nervous because what if uh the test says i have a bad head gasket again what do i do next well, I guess I come back to Scott's Automotive to get it fixed. <laughs> Let it cool down for about, I don't know, 20 minutes. Pulling the radiator cap off. Always do it with a rag just in case. Um, in case it's still too hot or, you know, pressurized or whatever. First, he's siphoning out some of the coolant to put an air pocket at the top of the radiator so we don't siphon up any uh, coolant into our test. test it when it's not running yeah. and you don't get as accurate because 
obviously there's no exhaust gases. It depends on how quickly you open the system afterwards. If there's exhaust gases in it, usually it'll hang out for a bit. Um, blue. Staying pretty blue right there, so preliminary, no blown head gasket, no hydrocarbons in the crew. Um, you want to fire it up and we'll let it run and we'll test it with that, that way. It, it, it kind of runs way too smooth for it to have any issues. Yeah, it, it, it had to be, you probably had the most paid, the most minor one. We'll call that a pass. Um, you want to take it back and walk it back to the vehicle and see what would happen to that stuff? Yeah. We'll go, this isn't the way to test it, but this will show you if you had exhaust pre gases present in the cooling system, how it would change. Oh, wow. Okay. One little pump, hydrocarbons turn it to yellow. Holy smokes. So you can take it away. Get a few pumps and it'll actually change back because it'll re-oxygenate up. The hydrocarbons pull the oxygen out of the chemical and that's how it changes color. Wow, that that worked really quick. There was definitely none of that happening when we were... Up when the we, radio. How about the radiator? Wow. Definitely starting to clear back up. Near super short, like, 15 second experience with Blue Devil here at the shop. So we don't normally use it. Um, I, there's been a few cases of it that we do. I've had a one out of 15 work. Um, and that only worked for a year and a half. So year and a half. So I guess I'm gonna have to come back and test again in a year. <laughs> Another year, well hopefully we'll get the two year mark, right? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, so I guess that probably just means I was lucky. It was a minor leak. Probably a minor leak, but you definitely it definitely worked in this case. Wow. Dude, thank you. Big thank you. Absolutely. I was talking to Mike here for a second, and I cut him off and said he had to say us all on camera. <laughs> it was good stuff. So um, tell us what you do here. So we are complete automotive repair, um, foreign and domestic. Just shy away from European vehicles. But we have a different philosophy here. We try to keep the pricing down. We don't charge diagnostics for unless we have to get in there and actually have to start tearing stuff apart. Um, we aren't here to get rich. We're here to get cars back on the road and keep people going. Um, and that, that's, we try to keep it that way and we keep that mom and pop feeling around here. That mom and pop feeling feels good. Yeah, I appreciate that philosophy because a lot of mechanics, a lot of shops are just out there to, well, like you said, get rich and take your money. And yeah, not always so honest about it. So thank you for being awesome. Thank no, you for the help. No, it was nice meeting you, man. And yeah. great story. It yeah. really is. What a great experience. Um, it's easy to say, oh, this shop or that shop, they're trustworthy, blah, 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 easy to work with. And it's just the coolest feeling on the phone um, to, to have someone just be willing to help. That was really awesome. So the right attitude at Scott's Automotive. Uh, check them out, they're in Encinitas on the Coast Highway. Uh, I'll post uh, their address in the description below. Wow, it actually worked. For now, I guess. He did say that there was one guy where it worked for a year and a half. We'll revisit this in a year, but um, it worked. I'm stoked. So, a couple questions. I had over 100 comments on the original video. Wanted to address a couple things. I did leave the Blue Devil in my coolant, honestly, for like a couple weeks before I drained it and uh, put. I actually didn't even drain it all the way. I only drained enough to be able to put uh, my coolant in. Um, coolant that was not pre-mixed. Follow the directions. A lot of the videos that I saw on YouTube of Blue Devil not working was showing people just dumping the bottle in, not pouring it, so all, you know, not following the directions. So uh, I don't know if that's 
a big reason why it worked for me and not other people. I do know that I had a minor leak, um, but follow the directions. Also, a lot of people asked, um, was my engine doing this? My, was my engine doing that? Uh, I already talked about a couple of the um, issues I was having with hours of driving or stressing the engine, pulling over a steep grade or pulling a trailer. Um, other than that, I did notice bubbles in my coolant, in my reservoir, while the engine was running. Um, this wasn't after any particular amount of time of driving, it just, the engine was running, it was bubbling. That's a pretty clear sign that exhaust is getting into the coolant at a pretty steady rate. I didn't really have any rough idling except at a cold start. Daily driving, everything was fine. Blue Devil does say if your engine cannot idle, for an hour without overheating, um, then it's probably not gonna work. If it can, you have a chance. Um, so if you're overheating after just a few minutes, you just need to get in your head gasket. If there's any questions that you have that I may have missed, let me know in the comments section below. If you liked this video, hit the like button. Consider being part of the Bender fam by subscribing to our channel. Thank you all again so much for watching. This is Dylan from Trailbenders Overland, out. If you haven't yet, head over to our online store to check out the awesome gear we use and all the new merch. Link in the description below.